The Golden Bachelorette. Are you watching it? We are. <laughs> Wednesdays, 8, 7 Central ABC. It's on Hulu the next day. And the Golden Bachelorette herself, Joan Vassos. You know we have history, Tanya and Sisney. I heard. Joan oh. and I go back to last spring, right? Yeah. <laughs> Quite some there. history there. <laughs> yeah, some history. I yeah, mean, I, uh, intro- I introduced her yeah. at the uh, Disney sales advertising up front this big event that they have mm-hmm. and that was the first time we actually i think it was the first time we met right it was the first time we met and do you remember i came up to you at the you reception afterwards specific. and i said i'm applying for the vanna white position when she's wants to retire oh i I'm thought you said reminding. you're the one i've been looking for sorry i misconstrued <laughs> oh, that well, whole I, didn't, conversation. I didn't tell the whole world that i'm on yeah, the show I, for I, dating <laughs> well wait, let's talk about that for a second so you know for those who've never seen the golden bachelorette what are you what are you trying to accomplish here? What do you want? Well, so I, I guess you know, traditionally they try to go for an engagement maybe, but I like not necessarily have to be engaged. I would just want to find like a person that I want to pursue outside of like the bachelor bubble. Yeah. Yeah. I like this whole golden franchise because I feel like when you're in the golden universe, you kind of know what you want. You've learned a lot. Yeah. You, you can cut through all the small talk. There's not a lot of plate spinning. It's like you you really have an idea of what works for you and what doesn't. Is that accurate? It's so accurate. And it's very different when you're younger and you're looking for somebody because you're looking for somebody that you can create a life with and that's going to be a good father or you know good spouse that you're going to build a life. We already have lives. We've already built yeah. our lives. We have. We are like established we're where we want to be already in life. So now you're looking for somebody that you can picture in your life and you picture in their yourself in their lives. So it's completely different. And that's why like, like hometown episodes are really important because you're saying, Hey, like looking around, is this going to be good for me? Is this going to be a place that I could live? Like, do I like the family? Um, because you're like, it's not. So when the, when you're younger, you're spending time like, you know, with the person and maybe see their parents and their family later on sometimes. These are their kids and grandkids. You're going to be spending time with them. So these are important relationships, yeah. important like kind of interactions you have to have before you ever decide on somebody. It's different perspective. Joan yeah. Vassos, the Golden Bachelorette, is here. Tanya, when I said I love this franchise, you gave me a look that was as if you had a tart Jolly Rancher. What was that about? <laughs> what do you mean? You gave me a look. like you. How do you compare the two? Because she's obsessed well, I... with Grey's Anatomy and the original Bachelor Bachelorette franchise. But how do you compare the two? Because I thought you gave me a look of like, really? You like this, Ryan? As much because as... I try to get Ryan to watch dating shows like every oh, single day about. of my life. And then this one, you're like, oh, I'm going to watch this one. I'm like, okay, finally, like, just listen to me because dating shows are like very what? heartwarming. But, Joan, I'll tell you why else I like this show, because the guys cry. Like, these guys I mean, love everyone each is other so emotional. In a way. They're so I, emotional. I've never seen so many guys get so emotional. It was such a surprise, because I think we all had this vision that they were going to come and talk about, like, how their baseball team is doing and, like, what their golf game is like. And <laughs> yeah. they immediately, like, entered the mansion and found their tribe, which is exactly what happened to the Golden Bachelor. Yeah. You know, us women in the mansion, you walked in, you're like, okay, these are my people, because they are at the same place in life, which is a really weird place to be. It's not what you picture when you're in your 60s and 70s um, to be single. Like, that's not how you pictured life. Oh, I tried very hard up until that point to not be single. <laughs> Ryan, are you relating to this a little? Bit? No, I'm just a fan of the show. That's all. I'm okay. just sitting here as a fan. All right. So, Joan, the, uh, this guy, Mark, I mean, I kind of thought this was a thing, the two of you, and then you kick him right out. Uh, what was God. what was missing? And this is why the guys got so emotional, because so, they were like, Mark yeah, is, they're sad to see him go. What, what, what was missing in Mark? I know. Well, right now, I'm probably the villain, because we don't have a villain on the season, and I'm probably <laughs> <laughs> right. It's my new role. Um, so I, I think that Mark and I had like a really unique bond because we um, kind of shared weird experiences um, from after the passing of our spouses. We talked about like them coming to us. And I don't know, you know, I always think, am I a crazy person that I like see John and things? But I think it's because I want it so badly. I don't want him to be gone from my life. So he has had the same experience. And we talked about that a lot on that episode, on the date when we were on the yacht. So, um, but the thing I didn't see was that he was healing. He was like on this healing journey that he didn't even know he needed to be on. And like a lot of times you don't, it like hits you. You're like, wow, boy, I feel a lot better. Oh, wow. I feel a lot worse while you're doing this journey. But he like had healed so much and he talked about that, but I never heard him talk about me as part of that journey. He talked about it with the other men and about like having feelings about his, about his late wife. And I totally get all of that. And those are like places he needed to, to visit. Um, but I never heard him talk about hmm. me being part of that healing. So 
I just thought I'm missing from his whole equation. Oh. Wow. Maybe I would like to be on the other show. The other show yeah. seems easier. I mean, this, <laughs> this, is, is this is hard. This is harder. Right? Way harder than I ever expected. I thought I was in a good place going there, and oh boy, I had all this stuff come cropping up, like bubbling up to the surface that I had no idea was way down there. Hey, what kind of music do y'all play in the fantasy suites? Do you have like good playlists for that? In the fantasy, fantasy suites, oh, wow. the like Unchained here. Melody. Yeah. Is that what <laughs> you know, obviously, uh-huh. I have the tiger. I yeah. Lamar, Unchained Melody, the Righteous Brothers. You are the you champion. Know, we are the champions. <laughs> exactly. We are the champions. What would you play in there, Sissy? We are the champions. You play queen. Uh, I, I was just saying, I have the tiger. Just really pump I you the up. Tiger. Right there. Oh yes. Oh, are right. you calling the- us old? No, I love that song. <laughs> the Golden Bachelorette. Uh, so, listen, you're on the cover. I'm looking at it now. Crazy. I haven't Weekly. seen it yet. Oh, well, I'm looking at it. You haven't seen it? <laughs> I'm looking. Well, I don't want to ruin the surprise. So, <laughs> well, it's, it's, I, I have it now. <laughs> you look great. Love, loss, and Crazy doing it my way. way. What did they? I've not read the article. Like, what What did they ask you about? What did you reveal? I think the, the my way part was probably geared to the fantasy suites because that was like the biggest change I made. I made a little change along the way. I didn't give roses out at certain dates that you normally would give them because I needed to like investigate like more than one person in that week. Um, so I didn't want to eliminate anybody without having gone on other dates. But fantasy suites, I said I'm not doing a physical relationship. I didn't picture myself being able to have a physical relationship with more than one person. So I um, said we're not having a bed. I want to, I see the value in having fantasy suites of having conversations off camera. It's really yeah. important. So I wanted to do that, but I didn't want to, like, I just wanted to take the physical element off the table, not make that a thing, because I just wasn't comfortable with it. So that was kind of the biggest change I made. That is huge. Yeah. That's the first time ever in the franchise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? I think so, and I, like, I don't want anybody to think I'm judging them, that people that did do fantasy suites, because <laughs> right. that's not my business. Whatever you do is up to you. I just know it was right for me. Joan, has this been a great thing? I mean, forget about the outcome because we don't know yet, but has this yeah. been a great thing for you personally? So good. Like, I feel like I yeah. grew so much on this. And, um, like, I went into The Golden Bachelor thinking that I wanted to find love and came out going, well, that's, like, a lot, and I'm not sure if I can do this. And then I got the opportunity to do this, and I did a lot of soul searching. I talked to my family and said, yeah, you know, I think that this is a good way to find somebody because dating at this age is not easy. It's very difficult. Mm-hmm. I tried. And so I thought, well, they'll vet, you know, 25, whatever guys for me. And, you know, why not give it a try? And it's been even better than I ever expected. And what do your kids think? Your grandkids? Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> um, they were a little nervous, I have to say. They are mortified that I might be kissing guys on national TV. <laughs> what are your, They're what like, are your my friends are watching. Your, Please don't do what's that. What's your grandma name? My, JoJo. JoJo, okay. JoJo. So, JoJo. Why, does JoJo, why does JoJo have so many flowers on TV, Mom? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's, it, the commercials are really funny because my kids, my grandkids see them in the commercials and they just freeze while the TV's on and like, like that's, you. Like, that's, I think that's my grand, I think that's Jojo. But my kids were really mortified about me kissing on TV and certainly fantasy suites would have just, they would have gone. Oh yeah. Oh, would yeah. I, 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 I would not have children anymore. Do they, so. do they ask you questions about how it went? And I, I mean, you can say maybe in confidence, but do they ask you about it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, of course. Of course. And, yeah. and they watch each episode and I get the low down the next day from all oh, of man. them. And like, um, my one daughter called me, I think last week she goes, mom, uh, you kissed a lot of guys last night, didn't you? <laughs> and I said, I said, did I? I said, I only kissed one or two. And she goes, a uh, four. And I, she's oh like, I was like, you were counting? And she's like, and then That's she names them off to me. And I was like, yeah, I did kiss four. Right. I'm sorry. Well, good luck with your journey. It's so great to see you again. Uh, you Jill, too. check out the Golden Bachelorette Wednesdays, 8, 7 Central, ABC, and then the next day on Hulu. Wish you happiness and, and uh, you. big success. Thanks for coming. Thanks so much. Thanks Woo! for having me. Thank you. Thank you.